Hi, welcome to my house. I'm Rachel Davison and today my daughter Anna and I are going to show you how to make a spaghetti squash lasagna. So what we need first is that we need a cooked spaghetti squash. You can see how I've cooked it in a pan. I've just flipped it upside down and I baked it in the oven for um, at 350 for about 50 minutes. And you can see how it's nicely cooked. I'll show you when I flake it with a fork, it looks, it just falls apart like spaghetti, like that. We're gonna cook our ground beef. I'm just gonna put about a tablespoon of oil into our pan uh, to get it started. And turn the pan onto medium. And then we're gonna cook about, this is about 300 grams of ground beef or about a third of, a, or a two thirds, sorry, of a pound. So we're gonna get that cooking. And while it starts to cook, we're gonna chop up some onion, some green pepper, and some zucchini to beef it up a little bit. I always like to add just a little bit of salt and pepper as it starts to cook. We can add a bit more later to taste. I've got a nice white onion here, and I think it's gonna be about half a cup of onion is what I'm going for. I'm gonna cut it a long way first, and then I'm gonna turn it and chop it the other way to make it fall into nice squares. We're gonna add that to our ground beef as it cooks, which is starting to sizzle nicely here, and let them cook together. So I'm gonna cut the top off. Anna's gonna pull the seeds out for me. I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm just gonna make sure that all these ribs are taken out, because the rib is quite bitter. Again, we're just gonna chop this green pepper into squares. First into strips. Let's add the green pepper to our ground beef, and we'll give it another stir. The onions are starting to cook. The meat is still a little bit pink, but it's getting there. Add just about a half a cup of zucchini. This is a yellow zucchini, or also called a summer squash. I'm just gonna chop it also into, into little squares. Look how pretty and colorful that is with the, with the yellow zucchini. So you can just add your favorite kind of pasta sauce. I'm gonna use a very simple marinara. Uh, when I'm in a hurry, I like to use this, this bought pasta sauce. Uh, when I'm at home and I've got time, I prefer to use a nice homemade tomato sauce. So whichever, whichever is up to you. Let's add about half and see where that takes us. You're gonna need about two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese or enough to cover the top of your lasagna. I'm using a nine by nine glass pan because we're gonna take some of our sauce and cover the bottom of the pan. And then we're gonna add a layer of the squash over top of our meat here. Push it all around so it covers all the meat. Fork it apart. So I have one and a half cups of cottage cheese here that we're gonna use to cover the lasagna. Remember, the squash is actually unseasoned, so we're gonna add a little bit into the middle of our dish. We're gonna put some tin foil on top of this. I always add the cheese later. Uh, you can top it with cheese right now, but then when you put that tin foil on, half of it sticks to it, and that's just frustrating. So I'm gonna tip, put tin foil on it. I'm gonna bake it for about 45 minutes, and then uh, when that's done, we're gonna pull the tin foil off, put our cheese on, and then and then let it bake. So we're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes, or until it's bubbling. So five minutes have, have gone by, let's check on our cheese. It's looking really good, and if you wanna pull it out now, you totally can. If you like it if, for your cheese to brown, then what I often do is just put it on to broil for a few minutes. So let's do that, but you gotta keep a close eye on it. 
Good, our, our spaghetti squash lasagna is ready. I love it when the cheese is toasted like that. It's beautiful. It's important for this recipe to allow time for it to set, otherwise it's gonna be quite runny on your plate. So we're gonna let it sit here for about 15 to 20 minutes before you wanna serve it. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.